Hi there, Bio 241 Physiology class. I want to go over this blood pressure equation. And this equation to me is not very intuitive, but it says that pressure is equal to stroke volume times heart rate times total peripheral resistance. Okay, that's not so intuitive to me, but it would be nice if it was intuitive for everybody because you might want to use that equation to answer some questions on a test. Well, there are some equations that are very intuitive. Like, for instance, the blood flow through a blood vessel, you all know, is equal to what? It's going to be equal to the pressure divided by the resistance. All right, so that's pretty intuitive. The blood flow is going to increase when we increase pressure. Blood flow is going to decrease when we increase resistance because resistance is inversely related to blood pressure. Okay, the other equation, which is pretty intuitive, I think, is that we also know that the flow out of the heart, which we call cardiac output, is equal to the stroke volume, which is the amount of blood that's pumped out of the heart every time it beats, times the heart rate. So I think that's pretty easy to understand. All right, so over here we have blood flow through a blood vessel, and over here we have blood flow through the heart. We also know that these things have to be equal to each other, otherwise blood is going to back up someplace. All right, so since we know that the blood flow through the blood vessels has to equal the blood, ves uh, blood flow through the heart, we can uh, just write it out just like that. We can say that pressure divided by resistance is equal to stroke volume times the heart rate, Okay, because they're just equal to each other. All right, and we also know that R, the resistance, could also be considered the total peripheral resistance of all blood vessels. So we could say TPR over here instead of just resistance. All right, well, I don't like this term TPR here in the denominator, so what we're going to do is multiply both sides of the equation by TPR to cancel it out. And when we do that, what do we get? All right, so here is this, here is this, multiply both sides by TPR, and TPR over here, All right, so TPR cancels out because that's just one, and we're left with what? Pressure is equal to stroke volume times heart rate times total peripheral resistance. All right, so that's the equation that I want you to become familiar with so that you can figure out what's happening to blood pressure when stroke volume of the heart changes or when the heart rate changes or when the total peripheral resistance changes. And what you can see from this equation is when the stroke volume increases because it's directly related to pressure and everything else is held constant, the pressure increases. Same thing for heart rate. If we increase the heart rate, because it's directly related to pressure, pressure will increase as well, as long as we keep stroke volume and TPR the same. And then here is the thing that's not so intuitive, and that is if we increase the resistance to blood flow, if we increase TPR and hold SV and HR the same, since TPR is directly related to pressure, if we increase the resistance, we increase the pressure uh, in that system. So that's what I want you to become familiar with, which is what? What we started with right here. Okay, hope that helps you out. Talk to you later.